More PlayStation games will be coming to PC. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War will have multiple endings and a new free-to-play magical battle royale game is coming. Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of Top Gaming News. My name is Given Manus and let's just jump right into some exciting news. For the first news, it looks like Indian government wants to be serious about online gaming and making it as a viable career option. The Union Education Minister is making a plan to support Indians in the field of online gaming and they believe that this will be a new way to generate employment opportunities. Union Education Minister Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishant said that they want to organize a hackathon for students of higher education institution through innovation in toy technology and design which also includes online gaming. School children from across India will be given an experience of Indian toy art as well. Our Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that toy industry has a huge potential and has a great career opportunity for everyone in India. Now this is great that Indian government want to give some time towards online gaming as well as toy industry, that's what they have been saying, but it is really good that they want to give more focus on online gaming. But we don't know how much of that is true. Now what I mean to say is, I don't know how much will they be focused on online gaming, that is eSports. And whenever everybody talks about eSports, it's PUBG and that's not a big deal. Even PUBG Mobile is having such a big success in India that I think if you start eSports or online gaming career opportunities from PUBG Mobile, I think that's also not a bad thing. But the thing is, whether the government will be focusing on that is still not so sure. Even though they told that they will be holding on a hackathon which will include online gaming and testing out the skills but we don't know how will that go. Also another thing that I wanted to see was game development. I think a lot of people would be really interested in knowing how games are being developed so all the programming which is done for game development that can also be taught or trained to a lot of people in colleges and maybe it could have been given more importance as well similar to how we also need importance in online gaming. But to be honest, I believe that this is a really good step taken from the Indian government. I hope that they do not deviate away from this and they keep on focusing on this place. What do you think about our government looking towards gaming as a viable career option? Let me know in the comments below, do you think it is possible that this can actually happen? We have some PlayStation exclusive games coming to PC with Horizon Zero Dawn being the most recent one of them even though the port wasn't that great but still a lot of people played the game and it looks like there will be more games coming to PC. Sony's corporate report says that they will be focusing on releasing first party games to PC. Now this right here is the key strategic point that was mentioned in the corporate report that they want to sell or release more first party games to PC and the reason why is because they believe that most of the people who are buying games they're buying games over to PC and they also believe that this is not going to change and it's a major competition for them as well although none of the PlayStation 5 exclusive games are coming to PC I think that they're saving it for the future as of right now I believe whatever games that have come on PlayStation 4 will be coming out on PC with a major time gap or something like that. There were rumors earlier that Bloodborne Remaster will be coming to PC but I believe maybe it is possible that the original Bloodborne will be coming to PC. Now of course we don't know what games will be coming on to PC but the list well that goes on. A lot of people are speculating that God of War will come to PC, Last of Us Part 2 will come to PC, maybe Spider-Man will come to PC. I mean the speculation goes on and on but we have to wait and find out what exactly happens. But overall it's a really cool thing to see that Sony is finally bringing some of its games, those are exclusives, bringing those games to PC for everybody to try. Although one most important thing is the port. We have seen that Horizon Zero Dawn port was not that good, it failed in various number of places. There were crashes, textures were loading very slowly, there were lots of bugs in the game as well. So I think ports is one of the issues as of right now. Although we didn't see those kind of issues in games like Death Stranding or even Detroit Become Human. In those games optimization was an issue but texture loading or crashing wasn't an issue at all. So I guess it depends upon how much time the company is giving to make that PC port. But at least this news has made me excited because I want to see Last of Us coming to PC because if that game's come to PC, it will be mind blowing and I will definitely recommend everyone to play it because it's one of the best games. What Sony game would you want to play in your PC? Let me know in the comments below. For me, I believe it's going to be Last of Us or Marvel Spider-Man. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War had a bombastic trailer last week which brings back Mason, Woods and Hudson. 
But none of the original voice actors are returning. Which, which is terrible, but at least the characters are returning. So that's a good thing. I don't know why, but here, Woods looks like Hugh Jackman. Is it just me? And anybody else feels that way? The game looks fabulous because of the game engine that they have been using and it's chaotic as usual, the story will be interesting as hell and some of the events in the game will be true. Not only that, in the game, you will be getting multiple endings just like Black Ops 2. In this game, you will be able to create your own character and you will be given some kind of freedom to give some changes to the storyline based on player choices. During Gamescom, it was told that some choices at the start of the game and at the end of the game will determine what kind of ending you will get. It's really interesting to see that you can create your own character, you can even have a male or female characters and based on choices is how you can get different kind of endings, which I think Call of Duty has never done. So it's, it's a different take on Call of Duty. We also got a preview of a cutscene from former President of the United States, Ronald Reagan, giving green signal to that illegal CIA operation. Now the game will have some true events and one of them is Ronald's administration that involves illegal CIA operation. And without a doubt, there will be more. We will also have a multiplayer reveal for the game that is coming on September 9th and there will be an open beta as well for which I am very much excited for. Gotta uninstall Call of Duty Modern Warfare to give some space for the new game. I'm ready for a 500 GB game. Let's go! However, Call of Duty Modern Warfare will also be getting some content updates. Like for example, if you pre-order Black Ops Cold War right now, you will get Woods Operation in both Modern Warfare Multiplayer and Warzone. Speaking of Warzone, that game will also get more content, even though we have new Call of Duty games coming around, which means Call of Duty Warzone is here to stay and there will be a lot more content coming straight towards Warzone, which is really exciting. I'm so much excited about Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I'm really looking forward to the storyline as well as the multiplayer and I'm so happy that Mason doesn't care about the numbers anymore. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'm not usually a fan of Battle Royale games but this one is quite interesting. Spellbreak. Spellbreak is a free to play Battle Royale game where instead of having guns and grenades, you're having mages and magical powers. Now similar to how any Battle Royale games, instead of looking for weapons, you look for magical equipment such as enchanted gauntlets, boots and belts that provides buffs and other gears that offers teleportation, invisibility and much more. You can even combine spells such as having a wall of fire if you have a fire gauntlet or a boulder if you have a stone gauntlet and if you combine both of them together, you now have a burning boulder which is ready to be fired on someone's head. There are more spells such as electric blasts, toxic fumes, ice magic and you can even summon a tornado. A tornado, that's insane. There are several mages that you can choose from and each mage has different kind of signature similar to that of Apex Legends. We also got to see some small snippet of gameplay from the trailer itself. It looks quite amazing because you're flying around, you have these magical powers. It doesn't have a serious war type look to the game which I really like. There is also a pinging system similar to that of Apex where you can ping the loots, you can ping enemy using the middle mouse button. You can even jump higher in this game and if you hold the jump button, you can fly. But you cannot fly for like eternity, you will have to fly for a limited amount of time. There's a meter and if that drains out, then you cannot fly anymore. But at least you can fly and shoot magical stuff. That's, that's pretty sweet. Now according to some gameplays, there is a way you can use an ice magic to lay down an ice lane on which you can skate around and traverse much more faster, which is actually really cool to look at. Another cool thing is that if you're going through that ice lane and if you just stand on that ice lane, the ice will start to melt. If someone sends an electric shock at you while you're standing or sliding through that ice lane, you will get even more damage. So it's really cool to see how we can combine different types of magic to make a different kind of effect and make it even more chaotic. The game is coming out this way Thursday on Epic Store. It's a free-to-play game, so you might as well check it out. In Gamescom, we got to see some really cool games and one of them was Little Nightmares 2. If you haven't played Little Nightmares, then you should definitely play that game because it's one of the most craziest games that I've ever played. Some really cool puzzles and some spooky elements that you might not want to miss. Now in Little Nightmares 2, we have a new guest who has a paper bag on his head. And we can also see that this time, the game is even much more spookier. Especially that hand running towards you. That, that is very creepy, man. Players will be able to control both the characters in the game and with multiple puzzle solving and some really spooky setting. And speaking of new games, there's this new game which is actually set in India and it looks really freaking awesome. The project is called Unknown 9 and the game is called Unknown 9 Awakening. 
According to the devs, the name of the girl is Haruna, who struggles to understand the mysterious abilities that she has, and later on she finds someone who knows about the powers and teaches her how to access these mysterious hidden dimensions, which are known as the Fold, and then go on to a journey to unlock all these mysterious things that is present in that new realm. It seems like this game will have an interesting plot, but as of right now, we don't have any release date on when this game is coming out, but at least we know that this game is coming to PC and consoles, which is a big plus. Another Indian game that is supposed to be coming out soon is Razi and Ancient Epic. And to be honest, the game is already out, but it's only for Nintendo Switch. But now the game will be coming out on October 15th on PlayStation 4, Xbox and Steam. So you might want to check this game out because this game looks hella amazing. There is also a new trailer out for the game where you see this new boss battle and it looks really really cool. And I'm definitely sure there will be more boss battles similar to that and I'm so much excited to play this game and I would recommend you to at least check this game out if you have the time. Now on a personal level I'm a much big fan of horror games and there's this new horror game coming out called Martha is Dead. Oh my god I'm afraid that Batman will kill me. The setting of this game makes me feel very excited because we are in a world war setting as well as your sister has just died. So there is a psychological warfare and I'm really looking forward to play this game. Well thank you all of you guys for watching this very episode of Top Gaming News. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Well make sure to smash that like button and comment down below what do you think about any of the news we just discussed. And to get to know more about games, news, community and tournaments definitely follow us on Instagram at GamerConnect and also do not forget to subscribe to this very channel and click on notification bell icon to watch all of our videos firsthand that we upload every single week. My name is Game Madness and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.